Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Scarfinger. And I've had a lot of people ask me about uh, my paintings and how I do them, and I should record a video. So now I've been in the, I'm nearing the end of my painting a day challenge where I've been doing one of these fluid paintings every day for the month of April. And I've decided at some point, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and uh, record one of these videos. So I got um, my trusty silent sidekick helping me uh, today. Say hello, silent sidekick. Hello. You were not supposed to say anything. That's part of the joke. You were supposed to say, <laughs> you were supposed to be silent. Um, uh -huh. And you can also, um, for like some of my early work, um, some of my early 8x10s, you can see they're on the wall behind me. Um, these, those are just like me really learning how to do all of this. But so today I'm going to be doing a, uh, puddle pour with a couple of finger swipes. Actually, three finger swipes is kind of my favorite way to swipe. Um, and these are the colors that I'm going to be using. I'm using an 11 by 14 canvas, which I've used on all of these. Um, for the paintings of the day so far. Uh, and these are the colors I'm going to use. Basically, the Joker colors uh, and black and white. I'm going to be mixing a little bit of this Artist Loft Silver into the, the Joker colors, maybe a little bit into the black. Um, it's going to make it a little bit darker, but of course, it's the Joker, so okay, that, that still works. Um, so, and I already have my pouring medium already made up. I can explain the pouring medium later, but I don't want this video to be that long. So um, I'm going to take my pouring medium, these paints, these cups, and I'm going to mix them um, to be ready to pour. Now, once once you know what the pouring medium is, that you know the kind of pouring medium I use, I use um, uh, two thirds pouring medium, one third paint. I know other people have like lots of different ways that they use it, but that's the way that I use it for my paintings. And it seems to work pretty well for me for the most part. Um, so I will, I'm going to mix up my paints and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we're back. Uh, paint has been mixed. I mixed them pretty much exactly like how I said I was going to. Um, I did not add any additives to it for cells. Um, I thought about possibly adding some alcohol, maybe a drop of silicone, but nope, I'm just going to pour this one straight. So all, everything is poured, um, everything is mixed in these cups, and how I'm going to do this is initially I'm going to pair these up this way, and then I'm going to start moving the moving it around, just kind of going with the flow a little bit. So how do I do this? How do we start? Usually I like to start with my black and my white. Uh, and I'm going to start by just pouring a puddle here and pouring a puddle there. Anything that drops on the canvas in between, not a really big deal. Um, so then I'm going to mix my whites. I mean, I'm going to pour my whites opposite them. Then, like I said, I need to pull a little bit more white in here. Then, like I said, I'm going to start with the purple in with the white. And the green into the silvery black, because I think I put a little bit too much silver in it. Um, so... I'm just going to start there. Then I'm going to do another layer of each before, um, after then, and then I'm just going to start playing and putting paint a little bit of everywhere. So I'm going to do one more layer. Put more black in there. More black in here. And it doesn't have to be precise because... Um, because I am going to do a finger swipe, so it's all going to kind of get a little bit messy in a, anyway. So it all kind of doesn't really matter that much, um, how much the different sizes and things of that nature, because once I get this stuff actually like mixed up and 
and I'm going to start putting paint all over the place. It's it's all going to be one big jumble. And it's, it's not really going to matter that much. So before I start putting paint everywhere, now I'm going to switch and I'm going to do one layer of the other colors inside of those. So I'm going to take this black and I'm going to put not as much, just a little bit in each side. And then the green. That was a little bit too much, but don't tell anybody. And I'm going to do the same thing with the white and the purple on this side. Now, before they converge, I'm going to put a strip of purple in the middle. I'm going to put a strip of green also in the middle. And then it's all just about having fun. So, I have the white pretty much on the outside here. So, I'm going to put some black here. And I'm going to do the same here. And just kind of like alternating and trying not to put, trying not to put a whole bunch of colors next to each other, extending the size of that color. Um, just, just, a little, just a little bit more of just playing and having fun. Because this is really fun. Like, to me, anyway, uh, it's super fun and actually surprisingly relaxing. Um, once I stopped stressing about how I was going to really do all of this stuff and how I was going to make all of this stuff and the painting a day and all of that stuff happen, um, I really started to have a lot of fun with it. And um, that also led me to uh, a little bit of an epiphany. I don't really want to do that right there. I'm going to put the black right here on the edge. I'm going to put some there. So I'm running a little bit low on the black. And I'm running low on white, so I'm going to do the same thing with the white, and then I'm pretty much done with those. And just for funsies, let's just sprinkle the what's left over from the white in the middle. Why not? It's just funsies. No matter what you do, whenever you're whenever you're doing anything like this, just try to have a little bit of fun with it. Um, I have a little bit more black left, so I'm just going to pour some just around the sides because when I start tilting after I do the finger swipe, uh, a lot of the stuff that's on the sides and especially on the tops are going to fall off the edge anyway, so really don't matter. And a little bit of funsies. Not a whole lot of funsies in this one, so yeah. I'm with those. I'm with the funsies, yo. Um, so then I have a decent amount of green and purple, so I'm going to pour those in here around, just kind of around the outside. And I'm going to try to pour this purple just kind of in that. I need to fill in that area right there. I'm going to fill that in with purple. And I'm going to fill that in with some purple too. A little bit of funsies. Woo -woo. Stop looking at me like you want to laugh at me. Like I'm being too, like I'm being too silly. Um, uh, I got a little bit too much green. Let me stick some in here. And a little bit in here. I'm just trying to find places where they're to, to just put it in because I don't really want to waste the paint. And I know I probably won't use it very much. So now here comes the moment of truth. Now, 
I kind of developed my finger swipe method based off of somebody else that I saw. Well, a couple of people. So my finger swipe method, what I really like to do, I, I like to take one corner and kind of wiggle all the way through. And then I take these corners and just do a swipe that way. And then I do the same thing here. Then comes the moment of truth. Doesn't matter about this paint. Um, I probably should at this point use the heat gun. But since I'm recording a video, I'm, I normally wipe my hands because I'm very, very, very picky about my hands. But I'm not going to use the heat gun until after. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt. Now, tilting, you really want to go to the four corners. Um, I'm trying to tilt, I'm trying to tilt and tilt low enough for it to still be on camera because, you know, the silent sidekick is kind of short. So I, I started really kind of tilting away the ribbon in the middle. I'm kind of more of a fan of the ribbon that was created with the finger swipe. I'm more of a fan of my ribbons being towards the middle, kind of going more diagonally. Um, so I just kind of tilt it back so that I can get that look. I'm more, I'm very, very, very much more of a diagonal ribbon person. But you know what? Just for, just for today, I'm going to put it more back in the middle and less diagonal. And you can see, even though I didn't put any additives in this, uh, you can see there are a lot of cells coming through, um, a lot of dots, a lot of cells coming through. So um, now it's just a point of checking your sides and checking your um, and checking your corners. Some people like to just put paint in their corners. Um, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just paint the edges of my canvas. Um, today I'm just going to do the normal thing, and I'm just going to stick my finger in some paint. And just touch my corners up and my sides. So while I do that, um, we're, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Um, and then I'll, I'll probably heat gun a little bit. Um, and we'll come back in a few minutes. Um, after this starts changing a little bit more, uh, way more cells are coming through than even I expected. So I will touch up my sides. I will touch up my corners and we'll be right back. So here is uh, what is representative of the final product. Um, I was not expecting all of these cells to pop through because I didn't put anything else in it, um, but they pop through anyway, and I kind of like it. Uh, it's a it's a little bit of insanity mixed in with the whole Joker aesthetic, um, and I like it a lot. So I am going to post pictures, of course, to Instagram and Facebook and all of those places to the Discord. Shout out to the people in the Discord. Um, they, uh, they're, they've been really helpful in keeping me motivated to continue all of this, uh, all of these, uh, paintings a day. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I will post the, the pictures probably long before y'all actually see this video. So, um, if you're, if you're watching the video, thank you for checking it out. Um, Holla at your boy. Uh, I'm Scarfinger on all of the major platforms. And we're out of here.